Hey guys, it's Spiderfig here. So today we're going to take a look at DRL Simulator, which is Drone Racing League Simulator. Nice thing is, um, it's free, so you can't beat that. Um, there is a um, there is another simulator called Liftoff, which I've tried as well. It's about 20 bucks. I found the physics on it not as good as this one. Uh, and again, this one's free. Uh, this one does have training mode, so you can learn, which is really good. It kind of helped me fine-tune a couple things. I'm still not perfect at it. It's got single-player, multiplayer. Uh, it's got different maps you can download. As you can see, I have everything downloaded. Again, all free. You don't have to pay for the maps um, and all that stuff. Now, I did set it up with my Interlink Elite, which I use for real flight simulators, but most controllers that you can get, there is like a USB uh, thing you can get for 5.8 uh, gigahertz, so you can actually hook up whatever drone uh, whatever drone controller you're using. So we're just going to go and uh, do a freestyle, and I'll show you how this works. Uh, let's try my hemi. As you can see, there's DRL level 1, uh, probably, I don't know if whatever level I'm at, but, uh, and, uh, so it is a field here, and, uh, let me just set it. So, we're going to fly. great at it yet, but, but I am pretty good, um, I could, you know, I was able to fly one of these in real life, never in a stadium though, so the next thing is you can get good enough to, get, you know, learn how to do tricks like this, and, uh, you know, get kind of comfortable with it before you go flying, and, uh, another good trick is this one, I like it. Still getting used to the power and other things like that. It's pretty fun. I'm also going to fly you through the doors and it gets pretty crazy. I'm not at that level yet. I'm at the level where I can do some basic stuff. And, uh, you know, like rolls and, and, uh, and flips. And, uh, I'm at a basic level in this thing. But this thing does have uh, some crazy. You just have to go down here. You can actually go inside buildings and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not that good yet, but I can actually fly instead of building. More than I've got the guy. Let me just reset it here. Um, as you can see, I'm more... I can I can fly at doors pretty okay. I might use a flying a little ground yet, like these guys fly. Uh, that's something I, I want to learn within here, because that way I could you know, fly indoors and fly a little better. I'm still learning how to manage my throttle, but I'm still not going to see that yet. I'm just going to keep it. Uh, it is a lot of fun, and uh, you know, each map has kind of a unique thing. Also, uh, in the settings, you can actually set different parameters, like for your weights and things like that. I don't know how to change. I don't know if there's a way to change the drone here. Um, but, you know, this is kind of normal. Uh, this is kind of the way I learn. And, uh, you know, I'm happy the way I learn because this can kind of save me from crashing a lot of time in the field. And uh, you know, I saw that one video where we were at the new park. Right, I mean, 
mostly just go crash in my mind. Um, the first one I didn't, I didn't damage any, I didn't damage the drop. The second time I did the antenna, the video antenna, but uh, just, you know, good way to practice, you know, just go to the new gates or there's other um, maps that you do. pretty much the best lighting I can do. So hope you enjoyed that. Again, it's free. I recommend it, especially if you're going to invest a lot of money into racing drones. Uh, this is a nice alternative way to save yourself some money and get some training in and not crash. So hope you enjoyed it.